Hello and welcome to Hire to V Hub. My name is Bemiga Peter Olubayo. I wanted to make you a video on time management tips regarding higher trading a long time ago, but I've just not had that opportunity to do that. But by God's grace today, I've been able to put together my presentation on how to manage your time effectively. First of all, I'm just going to mention a few situations that happen during IELTS exam, which you can avoid by going through the tips I'm going to provide for you very shortly. A lot of candidates get stuck on a particular set of questions or questions. Uh, this might be the most difficult or complex one for them, but you need to bear in mind that your aim is not to answer just one question, but to attempt all of the 40 questions within 60 minutes, which has been provided. All right. So apart from that, you want you to bear in mind that in high health reading, you don't get an extra 10 minutes to transfer your answer into your answer booklet. So in that case, you need to, as you answer the questions, you need to put them directly in your booklet. And this also makes sure you don't make mistakes, uh, non-brain mistakes. So think for instance, I've seen a situation, it might not have happened to you before, but if it does, it's going to be a catastrophe. So for instance, someone have written, someone is not sure what the answer to question 31 is, and you have left a space for question 31. And while answering question 32, you mistakenly transfer the answer into the space you left for 31. You know, chances is hard that this person is going to miss all those questions so i don't want you to make that mistake so i'm just going to jump straight to what my advice or my suggestions will be in order for you to finish your higher reading within the allotted time let's start this is a reading test and you must read you but what will make the difference is that full crew which is the ability to quickly comprehend what you read which will now translate to answers and believe you me one more thing i need you to keep in mind is that the 60 minutes is is enough for you to effectively attempt all the questions all right let me repeat that so what will make a difference whether you are going to be able to manage your time effectively attempt all questions and still say that oh beat your chest that i'm i'm not coming back to this examination because of reading test the difference is in your ability to quickly comprehend and decide what the correct answers are. Now, and to help you to do that, that means you must be able to read very quickly while you still comprehend what you've read. What will also help you to quickly comprehend and arrive at the most appropriate answer for, from my hand is the fact that you know the strategy for each question type. So uh, in this case, let's say yes, no, not giving, True false not giving, matching the headings, matching paragraph information, matching sentence endings. All these 14 question types should be in your head. And you know, like when they wake you up from your dream, you know the thing to do stepwise if you have if you have these question types before you. The other thing is your vocabulary. So let's say uh, one thing that will waste your time is if you are not familiar with that uh, topic, okay? So let, let, let's say uh, when we are talking about environmental degradation, environmental sustainability, uh, you know, people will talk about greenhouse effects, people will talk about you know, oxide emission, you know, people will talk about, um, well, how do I put it now, recycling, recyclables, people will talk about using green energy. Do you get what I mean? So now, if, for instance, you don't understand what this means, and you have that topic before you, you know, it will take a lot of time to comprehend and to arrive at your answer. So you must already be picking the, the tips that will help you already. So if, if you read and read and read, I mean, IELTS topics, you are reading so much, you are broadening your scope, and you also try to develop how fast you are able to read, you are not going to be far from having that desired band score. Now, so having said that, what are the things that I, these are suggestions on what to do. So now, whether the questions comes in order or it doesn't come in order, meaning that for all question types, make sure that you do not treat any question in isolation. Read, always read more than one question at a time. So, so let's say under, uh, I have each 
passage we always have, always have 13, 13, 14. That is the distributions of the questions. So in passage one, it could be 13 questions. So I, my strategy could be, I want to read all the 13 questions at, uh, at first, okay? So that also means that I'm able to remember, I have good memory, okay? So, and I am not in that category, even myself, I have to take them bit by bit. I take them questions wise. So, but I could quickly look at the questions, okay? But I major on the question type. I mean, the first question type, usually it will be two to three question type for those 13 questions. So I treat one question type at the minimum. I read all the questions that comes under it and I'm not treating a question in isolation because if you do that, take for instance, in matching paragraph information, if you take a question, um, you would be wasting a lot of time. But if you have read all the specific information given, you went, you knowing fully well that you might find one before the other one. So, and that will help you save time. So these are simple, simple things we need to be aware of. Take for instance, also question like a multiple choice question or true, false, not doing, yes, no, not doing that also comes in order. So the fact that I've located the answer to question number two, I know they come in order. I, I would then closely read everything before that. So I answered the most simple question first that I could answer because I have read through all the questions. I'm not going to look for, if question one happened to be the most difficult for me, then I won't waste more time on that. And the fact that I'm, I'm able to uh, answer the simplest one for me, it will also uh, pinpoint where I should be looking at for the one I'm finding difficult. So that is one. Now, uh, talking about reading quickly, do not never ever read words word by word, okay? So when I'm treating matching uh, heading, for instance, I cast my eyes on the whole passage, okay? So, or the whole paragraph. So, and from a whole paragraph, I go to one or more sentences at a time. So I'm not read, and I'm not using my pen to trace words because uh, research has shown that when you trace words, uh, your reading speed is limited, it, you'll be slow. So I cast my eyes rather, cast my eyes on one or two sentences. Whenever I see an example coming up, I don't really pay an attention. I just read quickly to see whether it will be important for the next question type. So I hope this will help you. Never trace with a pen, never read word, one word at a time. Read full sentences, uh, you know, like that. Now, do not never ever skim the passage first. Now, however, don't forget that all I'm saying, they are my suggestions about what could work and they are based on common sense. Now, it could work differently for another person. So you don't have to do everything I say, but you have to have a strategy that works. So, but generally, I believe that you don't have to skim the passage first. So the first thing is the title of the passage and then straight to question number one. For instance, if I'm treating yes, no, not given now, I look at the title of the passage, I go straight to the questions. Do you get what I mean? I go straight to the questions, then I go straight to paragraph A. So, or uh, from the keywords, I use, I, I quickly scan, if it's something I could scan, you know, I, I quickly scan for the first thing, anything that, that, that could lead me to any of the answers. Do you get what I mean? So that is yes, no, not given now. You know, I, I don't have to literally start from paragraph A in yes, no, not given. So let me repeat that so you get what I mean. So I'm not going to skim the whole passage first. Skimming is you having an idea of the whole paragraph uh, passage. So a lot of people, uh, some tutor will say you should skim the passage first. But your, I, your aim for sitting that examination is not to come out of that examination or, and be able to narrate the story to another person or to your tutor. Your aim is to answer, attempt all questions and get out. And I don't care whether you remember anything that come out or not, but you should be able to answer all the questions. So no need of understanding the passage as it were, word for word. But what you need to do, so let's take yes no not given now in yes no not given i know that i've read through the questions i know the keywords okay then i will quickly scan for the keywords any of the keywords that i find whether it's question number four i i could attempt that okay and i'll use it to trace the other ones 
use it to trace, uh, but I'll start from the most um, obvious keywords, okay? So, and moving on to my fourth point here, so that also means that the keywords I'm going to be scanning for, so I've moved away from scanning now, I'm not talking about scanning. What I'm going to be scanning for is any of the questions, what I will attempt to answer first, okay? If I'm not sure, is those keywords that have names, dates, and numbers because they cannot change, okay? So if there is 11 in that passage, it's going to be 11. So if it is 19, 19, uh, 19 whole one, the only thing that could be in my question is 28th century. And when I see 19 whole one, I know that it's also 28th century. So that cannot change. 19 whole one cannot change to, um, to 1920. Do you get what I mean? So that is it. You can scan for numbers, dates, and names. All right. So now having a good time spread is very important. So uh, you don't have to you, you don't have to spread them like equally across board. So you you also know which question is simple for you to approach. So once you find the answer, move on. But the general rule of thumb is that spend 15 minutes on the first passage, 20 on the second, 25 on the last one, because it is expected that the last passage will be complex. But to be to be sincere with you, this never happened to me when I was. Um, when I was preparing. So you should know the trend during your practice, which passage is much more uh, difficult or complex as far as you are concerned. So use this sp spread. Once you get to 15 minutes on the easiest one, which also could be the question type you find easy to, easier to do. Move on, choose an answer and move on. Okay, so once again, I'm saying attempt or question. If you aim for band seven, that is 30 to 20. 32. So if you have been scoring 35 in your practice, there's higher chances that if you attempt 40 questions, you will get that 30 to 32, okay? Rather than you attempt 33, okay? So please, 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 no matter what, make sure you attempt all questions. Now, I've talked about copying question answers directly to save you time, uh, minimize your mistake. Now, familiarize yourself with all question types. Still going back to uh, that IL strategy. So familiarize yourself with the question types and, you know, the trap they set for you, like multiple choice questions. Uh, there are certain traps they set, like they will put the same word as it appeared in the question in the passage. They will put it in a wrong option. So once I see that word coming out, I don't, I, I literally cross out that option, no matter how good it looks like. Do not attempt something new in the examination is not going to work. It's going to stress you out and uh, make you burn. Practice with time very, not less than two months before your examination. You should be practicing 40 questions at a go under examination condition, not when you're on duty. Uh, get, get that time from your husband, your, from your wife, from your children. Get into, get one hour and practice and use that to judge yourself whether you are doing all right. So, and please give time how to review your answers as much as possible. It will save you a lot of mess. Like the case I mentioned, you have you have moved the answer because you left the space for question 32. Uh, you, you now answer 33 in 32 and you have continued like that. Without reviewing your answer, you won't be able to sort out that mess, okay? No matter what I've mentioned today, if there is one more thing, nothing, nothing, nothing beats investing into your overall competencies development. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So nothing can beat that. So, and into this overall competencies, that is, that will take you back to these things. So you remember, I used to cite an example of when I was learning how to drive, you know, I don't need to tell you that again. Elena takes a lot of time to get onto the major road but sound drivers will just go pew, and that is what makes the difference. The overall competencies, that is what makes the difference, okay? Now, and lastly, no matter what the time management, um, ma management tips you are looking for, I want you to know once again, which is still the same thing as what I've said, that time is not your biggest enemy. Time is not, the, time is not what is against you in higher. Something else is. So, if you, this was one thing someone took from one of the 
uh, was it a webinar I held in January this year, and that changed everything about her. And, and she came back with band eight or eight point five or there about someone that has been doing five point five. But she remembered that I made mention of the fact that time is, is not your biggest enemy. Something else is that the same number, the same. 60 minutes is what you have with every other candidate that goes in into that examination or comes back with a good band score, which uh, as an illustration, so like what I've put here, if they place myself and Ronaldo, see Ronaldo, give us an empty net, give us the same time, he is going to net, he's going to score higher than myself just because of competencies. Examination is not the time to look at what's the meaning of this thing, okay? You should be able to judge contextually that this is what it means and judge, right? So that is what we are talking about. The strategy you are employ employing should be what you, have, what you have tried and that is uh, trusted, okay? So th that is majorly what I have to say to you regarding time management today. So I'm sure that you have picked one or two things from all my discussions today. If you find this video interesting, I need you to click the like button and also subscribe to this channel. Thank you. I'll be coming your way very shortly again. And until then, stay blessed and all the best in your higher test. Bye.